Making hits with Lakeith Good Grief Grief With you, man. What's going on, bro? Man, introduce yourself to the Cutlass world, man. Shit, my name is Rabbit. A lot of niggas know me about Rabbit. Shit, this is my 79 right here. My 79 Cutlass. Yeah, I see that thing clean, man. You got the on um, 22s on the uh, yeah. spokes, man. What made you go with them? Man, I'm going to keep it real. Like, my brother-in-law right over there, he was a big influence on this motherfucker. Seeing him riding and everything. I yeah. was going to go with the foes, you know, do a little face run. But, man, when we saw these Vols on that bitch, man, like, it was a... It was a no-brainer. We just went with the Vos, man. It was a no-brainer. Had to go 22 though. Oh yeah, 22 was a new thing. Man, it's cool to ride the 20s too if you drive a lot. But right, man, right. when you want to just shine, pull it out every now and then, I, I prefer the 22s, man. And I see you got that roof peeled back, man. What you got going on with that roof? See, another thing, another shout out to my brother-in-law over there. You know, yeah. you see we back to back with him. Yeah, I got them twin gonna, ball spies, them big ones, huh? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna roll with Top Unlimited, you know, go do the little regular degla, but you know what I'm saying? I saw that bitch up in his, and I just knew I had to have it. And like, you know, he did everything from from the body work on that bitch on down, you know what I'm saying? Cut it out, uh, everything. You know, we took a little ride to go get it. We took yeah. a little five-hour ride, but shit, you know, you gotta invest a little time in them, though. A little yeah. five-hour ride to Memphis to go pick it up. Yeah, so this the original color on it, or, or you changed it up? Oh, uh, we changed it up a little bit. It was it was uh, a little lighter than this, like a, almost a whitish blue. Like it was original cutlass color, but you know what I'm saying? That had to go though, so you know it wasn't cutting it, so that had to go. Yeah, I see them flakes on there too. Yeah, what oh, made yeah, you go okay. with the flakes? Did you add the flakes, or is all, all your people ideal, or you when, you just uh, had a vision for it? When when we when we was, I went to, I got this bitch painted twice, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you gonna have to spend a little money. I ain't like how it came out the first time, you know what I'm saying? So I went over there, started looking at some new little paint colors and shit, some little codes over there at the paint store. And actually, this bitch come off a new Honda, like a 2011 Honda, you know what I'm saying? It was an original color for a Honda, and it had the flakes already in there. My boy A1 over there. A1 Customs, he, he laid that paint down on there for me. Oh, man, that, it, it's beautiful too, boy. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, man, see, sometimes you see them cars pass by, you know they clean, but man, once you get that inside looking up on it, you be like, oh yeah, he really did his thing with it, man. So what kind of motivated you go with the 79? You always liked the 79s or what? To be honest, like, bro, I thought, I thought I'm kind of a big nigga, so I liked it about, you know, more of a bigger car. I had a, what it was, I had a lag at first. I had a lack, I was doing a lack, but man, you know we in PR. This G body nation, man. Yeah. G body, you know a lack it'll get you some attention. You'll do your little thing on the scene, but them cutters roll out. It's just a whole different thing. Even the Regals, the G body period. You know what I'm saying? They gon' they gonna steal the show every time. So I'm like, man, I gotta get me in, the, in that G body game, man. Got to. Oh man, you applying pressure to them too, man. You don't mind me getting a walk around, huh? Come on, man, do your thing. <laughs> Y'all see that roof? The boy, the G6 roof boy. Y'all see it? You don't mind me getting a look on the inside, huh? 
And it's all a work in progress, man. I'm just, I'm just glad he let me get this interview, man. He already told me, man, I ain't ready. Man, I still got a lot more to do, man. But like I told him, it's a process, man. Everything coming soon. He, he ain't done. He ain't on here talking about, yeah, I'm, I got the sickest this, the sickest that. You know what I'm saying? It's all a work in progress. And he, he let me get this footage, so I'm just grateful to get the footage, man. Check out up under this hood for y'all. Yeah, OG vibe. You know, we built for cruise and not the speed. <laughs> oh yeah. They probably was thugging in 79. Right. I don't <laughs> like, know why, bro. I, like, I'll take a compliment how I come, but it, it just feel better coming from the old niggas, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, because, see, with the young niggas, you probably think, oh, it's just popping for our age. Right, so, right, so right. So for a young dude to tell you, it just seems like it's just normal for them to say because they, they see it every day, all day, but them old people. And you know, I know them old heads, they know a little bit more. You can't knock the young cats. You know, yeah. they know a little something. Okay, they know they got it. Uh -huh. But I, I like them story, man. I had one of them back in um, right. 93. <laughs> I used to, what you had on? I like to ask them what they had on. They be like bones and shoes yeah, like and bones. They had and, and shit like that. Yeah. And then the, the craziest story I heard from an old cat, an old cat told me, they used to lift the back up. You know how we like to squat a yeah, little bit? Yeah, we like to squat he, at the back. He said, the old people say they like to back up a little bit to give it that muscle nah, look. Nah, <laughs> yeah. like, I, I don't really, I wouldn't even really like that. Yeah, I guess, but, it, I guess it was just a thing back in the day. Yeah, they said they were popping back then with that. I, I, I just couldn't see it. Yeah, with the big tires on the back and the lift it up. And give the it an old race car look. look. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they like back in the day is those. But we like a little squat to ours in the back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that squat in the back, you know, the most I do a little squat in the back. I like that stagger too, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When they stagger, uh -huh. got that deep dish at the back, yeah, yeah. they look nice on there. See, that, them face wheels, they come standard like that. See, I got a five inch lip in the back and a three in the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. see, that's put the, me on some new shit. Yeah, that's standard, though. When you get a face wheel, or like the new three piece wheel, or two okay. piece wheel. That, that's how I come yeah, you like put me on game with this. Yeah, standard five inch lift in the back and three in the front. Some people go smaller in the front to make the back look bigger. Yeah, I had a uh, like remember I was telling you earlier I had that lack. I had some bitchy B14s on there. They yeah. had like a seven or eight inch lift at the back of yeah. it. There was sixes, you know, they had a little bigger rim. Yeah. You know, you get that little bigger lip on there. Right. You can do it with the folds too though. Uh-huh. But see, when you do them on a Jeep body, you got to uh, notch your frame and miniature yeah, and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of extra little stuff. Yeah, do a lot of do. people. I wanted a 7-inch lip. I, I might I might still mess with a 7-inch lip. Because all yeah, I do is change the game with that 7-inch. Yeah. Right. But you I'm, clean right now, though, bro. I got to give it to yeah. you clean right now. Yeah, but it's all, it's all a process. And like I said, this is my last go around. But this is the third time that I done really changed it up and did stuff. You know what I'm saying? So... This my last go round. Yeah, you just make sure it's all the way right how yeah, you want it. Right. But see, like the first time, but no, I'm gonna say the second time I did it, it wasn't that I wasn't doing it right. Times change so fast. So yeah. sometimes when you do a car, you gotta think way ahead. Like you gotta think ahead. Real because talk. Because by that's, the time you finish the car, you wanted to you wanted to be. And people like yeah. when you're dealing with certain people, people take their time. People be taking their time. Yeah. Like you probably had the idea of being in your head. It might take six, seven months to get it done. Like you said, by the time you get it to 
you know, up the par, how you had it in your vision. Yeah, it's outdated. Eight, nine months later, shit. Yeah, it's getting outdated. So, like, that's why I say, I, you gotta stay ahead of the game with it. You gotta do something. Whatever you do to your car, you gotta do something that you know gonna last a long time. Yeah, right, right. That's why it's I respect. Timeless shit. Yeah, that's why I respect cars when they in their OG form, cause you never go wrong with OG stuff. And like, I be seeing you on the interview, you big on the OG stuff, keeping yeah. it in the original. Yeah. A lot of people is though, like, like that's why I kept that original. I ain't. I said before I even just cut on anything, yeah. I'ma just leave it like that. Yeah. You don't want to go adding ostrich all across your face. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. And all that, that go out of stuff. Yeah, and then it go out of style. Then now you gotta go pay top dollar for original yeah, stuff. That's true though, bro. You're gonna touch it more than once being cheap. Yeah, but I remember when I was in high school, what was popping was like fiberglass. People used to put all the big TVs in here and all yeah, that. Yeah, like man, imagine if you did, it, change, yeah, bro. imagine if you would have did all that. You'd have had to take all this whole dash and you'd be on the internet searching for a dashboard. Oh, you ain't lying yeah. about that. Cause I remember, remember the Mike and Mike cars and oh, all yeah, that. Yeah, Coca Cola. That used to be the way yeah. back in the day, yeah. man. You just get your little old schools in there. Yeah, but man, that was the way. Like I never, I never was really on that type of time though. You know, to each his own though. You think it ever come back? Not, look like that G-Body wave, like it got a lot of younger cats, they jumping in that G-Body wave too. Like the game, you know, just getting handed down, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause I saw my daddy do this. I'm pretty sure he probably saw his daddy daddy do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I remember seeing like little old pictures of little old whips my dad. My dad a big short bed shipping man. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So, That's my goal to get me one. Yeah, they nice, bro. They nice. He keep pushing it on me. Get your short bed. Get your short bed. Man, I seen Whip Addict post one on, on YouTube. You follow Whip Addict on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, he posted a truck dude had a, a hundred thousand in a short bed. Man, it could get it. It could get pricey. Yeah. It could get pricey with a period though. Right. They Man, nice though, bro. You know the craziest story I ever heard? I got a partner, he from Mississippi. We be running it or whatever. He stayed in Alabama for a little minute. He was like, man, in Alabama, they had this dude, he had a car with a whole bunch of signatures on it. And stuff. I'm like, what he had that for? He's like, man, all the women he ever messed with, he wrote their name. Uh, like old boy with the black book. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, but he, on yeah, shit. but he did it with his car. Like, I'm like, I'm like man, that's, now, that's, that's pushing P. Yeah. <laughs> that's pushing P right there. Man, I'm talking about that was like crazy. He like, man, all the women he ever messed with, he got their names on the car. The nigga be uh, mad they find his bitch name on the car. <laughs> yeah, he pull up at a car show. He got you. <laughs> Uh, that was like the craziest story I ever heard. Like, for us. I know that Coca Cola, Mike and Ike, and all that. Yeah, that was, was, that was a little way back down, back then. Like I said, we still had our G bodies coming through. Yeah. You know, they wasn't on them 22s and shit like that back yeah. in the day. No, 20 was a big rim back in the day. Oh, you yeah, 20. You had some 20 inch spokes. You was good. Yeah, you had the 20 inch spokes. You damn good. That's a big ass rim nowadays. Yeah, that. And then now they just stepped it over the 22s. Like, yeah, 22. Back in the day, that 20 was big. I can remember. I remember the big times and shit, rapping about 20s. Now 20, your girl will put that on a Honda or something. Uh -huh, you know but no rubber neck. No rubber neck. <laughs> man, it's crazy. So, how long you had it, man? Man, I had it like about a year and a half. About a year and a half, just getting it right. Or, as you know, touching it and everything, just to make it presentable, bruh. Yeah. Just trying to make it, you know, till it could get somewhere. About a year and a half, though, bruh. Yeah. Man, I like like this roof. You and you and your brother-in-law, man, got the roof nice, man. Yeah, like, bro, I love it, bro. Like, he, he, when I did see him do his, like, bro, I just fell in love with it. I'm like, man, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I told him, like, man, I ain't trying to bite you or nothing, bro, but yeah. I need that. He was like, man, go on. He was like, go on, get it, bro. It's gonna be better. You got both of them lined up back to back. Right, and that look good. Cause it do, it cause do. Cause the main thing you would be looking like, man, both of them boys got that roof in it, and that look good. Go on, especially when y'all ride together. When I drive the interview and show them together with both of them peeled back like that. And it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how you have a vision and it finally come together and you really yeah. could just see it like, damn, this is what I was thinking. Right. Cause I was thinking about like the color and everything, you know, like you said, like ahead of time, trying to, you know, just trying to picture it in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it finally did come together, cause I was scared getting the roof in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, man, it's a little process. They putting that bitch in there and everything. But I was like, man, it's, I trusted them though, you know, cause he did it. And yeah. shit, that bitch came out wonderful, bro. Yeah. And then that, it give you a whole different lighting in here too. Yeah, man, it opened up. It opened up like crazy. Man, everywhere I go, man, they chomping the dudes. Up. And then see when you with no tent on here with that bitch fishbowl like this, like that that light shining up, man. 
Man, when you see the interview, you're gonna be looking like, oh yeah, we shining and that. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. But like I said, we still got a long way to go though, but we, we, we get now. So what future upgrades you plan on doing to it? Man, as far as the upgrades, I'm just looking into getting that, that music all the way right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was talking, nothing, nothing that I need to be, you know, repairing stuff on the regular. I'm trying yeah. to tear the car up. Just a nice little good for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to join competition and then like that. A little quick little one-two. Quick little one-two, one, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just to catch a little vibe. Me and my girl riding or something. Yeah. A quick little vibe right quick. See, that's a different feeling when you ride with your old lady. Oh, man. yeah. On a good Sunday like this, sun out, man. Y'all just doing your thing. You got your little drink. You cruising. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a nice little feeling. Beautiful day to day. This is a perfect day to do it. Oh, yeah. And I appreciate you giving me this little interview on a pretty day like this. Man, man like I said, bro, I, I've been supporting in the cuts, watching you, bro. Like yeah. I said, just watching you, putting in that work, seeing everybody else, some of my partners, some dudes I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just watching them on the cutting page, you know, checking them out. Like, that's a good look for the city, putting us on the map. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, you gon' you gon' you gon' hit it. You gon' get that though, bro. Just yeah. keep pushing that, that consistent content. We got big man with us today, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Tell the people, man, with the dogs, what you got going on, man. Uh, this uh, this my boy Blue. Yeah, yeah. English Bull dog. This is my stud. Yeah. We breeding them up. We just dropped a little litter, like maybe what? They dropped November 19th. <laughs> I got, a, got rid of all of them though, but we'll have another litter coming soon. This yeah. my little ride partner. They yeah. just talking about, boy, you got that dog in that car, but shit. He helped me put this bitch together though. This is my big boy right here. Yeah. Get down, shout, big man. Shout out to Blue. Yeah, Whatever you put blue, the man. other blue together. Yeah, I'm <laughs> blue, blue bring, that, bring that blue, man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, sit down. Get down, big boy. Yeah, so like, man, let the people know, man, your your Instagram and stuff, like with the dogs and stuff. Like like my Instagram, I do everything pretty much all one little one little page. It's Mike Lauren fifteen, M I K E L O W R Y fifteen, the number fifteen. Right. You know, that's my Instagram. You follow me on that shit. I ain't bougie. I follow back all that. Yeah. Man, we all connected and everything. Like I say, man, that, that big re when we did that big re thing. Yeah, for sure. Rest man, in peace. Man, that was, that was nice, man. I, I enjoyed posting that, editing it. Right, it, was right. a, it was a good turnout, man. Yeah, that was a good turnout. Like I said, it, it was looking good out there, bro. You ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody out there causing no type of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Everybody came out there to hold it down for Reed. Rest in peace, Reed. That was a good dude, though, for sure. So, like, man, I had to come out there, you know, show my respect, hold it down for him, right. and pass through there. You know, that's the least I could have do is have my presence out there for him. Yeah. Like I said, man, I feel like if it was me, he would have been out there for me, too, though, on some shit. Uh-huh. That's, that's how I feel, too, man. Right. Man, then these cars be keeping the peace, too. That's what I be saying, like, linking up. Even if you do have problems with people, like, you see them at a car, man, I ain't worried about right, that. We, right. we here for a whole different reason, so... And we have way more peace than you see them little dudes out here drag. I ain't got nothing against them little fan cars or nothing. Yeah. You see them little drag racing meets and shit, the police are always going shut that shit down. Yeah. Yeah. We just be chilling, cruising, you know what I'm saying? Them yeah. people know them boys they trying to tear that shit up. They don't put all that time and money into it. Yeah, we might bang it, might bang it out. Like, you know, <laughs> a little yeah, something. Yeah, some, a little some noisy, people, yeah. yeah. But we ain't hurt nobody and shit. That, that's what it's about though, man. It's some grown man shit. We ain't trying to just get in no trouble. That, that's for the birds though, man. Right. Yeah, but man, I appreciate you having me, man. Man, I ain't nothing to it, man. Like I was telling him, I was hiding from you for a little minute because I felt like I wasn't even up to park. Yeah. But like my brother-in-law, like, man, you got to pull it out. And I was like, man, I've been watching him in the cut. Yeah. Like, man, shout out to the channel, though, man. The real talk, though, man. You gonna just keep going, put that consistent shit down, though, bro. Yeah, and I appreciate that, man. That, that motivate me a little more every time I see somebody who really mess with the channel and, and really could go back and say, hey, man, Man, I, mean, I like when you did this or you did that. Right, like, right. You let me know y'all in tune. Like, I had ran down on a guy on Life with Ikes or whatever. I've been watching him for years, like about, about two, two, three years. Right, watching. right. So I ran down on him, give him my information, and he ended up being somebody that I'm, I'm linking up with. We're going to be in Memphis next weekend. Right, right. But I had ran down on him, and I said, man, you, he like, man, watch your stuff. I like, man, get out of here. Yo, yeah, you know, man, you, man, get out of here. And it's motivation for you to get your car, man. Like, I, yeah. like I don't watch the the B Jarvis, my dog mm -hmm. Tom. Like, yeah. them boys be motivation for you to come yeah. out there, you know, and get your shit, get your shit right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause man, I won't get out there. Like, bro, like I said, I want to touch almost everything. Yeah. But man, you know, you be hot, you gonna ride. You gonna, oh yeah, you, you gonna, gonna ride, ride that thing, man. 
Yeah, but man, then then I ran down on Ike. Ike said, I watch out, and then he got the quote back. Yeah, I bet mean, when you did that's this, how, that's how did you that. know somebody fucking with you. Oh, yeah. He's telling you about your own content there. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, I know like, he's fucking with you. And then I watched this whole bill on his channel, and, and, and to see it in person, man, it was a really nice little bill. I was like, that's motivation too. So, like, man, I'm just connecting with different people and, and trying to get right. it to the next level to put our city on the map. Everybody else putting their city on the map. Why Baton Rouge can't be on the map for us? And we got car. that. And we got that smoke down. We got some pressure down here. Some yeah. clean, some nice clean shit. We got it down here for sure. Right. I'm just glad you was you were able to link up, get us out the way today, though. Because like I was telling you, I said, man, I'm gonna do it. He really, he really talked me into it, though. But I was gonna wait till I got everything. But I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go on here and do it, get it out the way. Yeah. And once you see the interview, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm glad I did do it. And like I said, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again once I get everything, cause I ain't finished with it. We're gonna right. de most definitely like it again. So, you know, show you what I done did to it, and you know, after yeah. a little time pass. Man, y'all stay in tune you know, man. for who, whoever watching, man. Subscribe, like, share, comment, man. We out, colors for us, man.